Our coverage of the firing of Tennessee head football coach Jeremy Pruitt continues. We bring in Go Balls 24-7's Ryan Callahan and Wes Rucker. Ryan, let's start with you. About 20 players have signed the national letter of intent for Tennessee for the class of 2021. With Jeremy Pruitt being fired, can they get out of that agreement? It's a tricky situation. It's up to the school to release the player. They're not required to. But in most cases in these situations, it's kind of a common courtesy for a lot of schools to allow players out of the, their letter of intent if they decide to go that route. So it's something that definitely could cost Tennessee a, pl a player or two. It's almost a, I would say it's almost a certainty that a player or two um, will, will end up asking out uh, of, ten of a letter of intent with Tennessee. It's just a matter of is it an isolated thing where it just happens with one or two players or do we see a few guys drop out of Tennessee's class in some form or fashion? Ryan, the assistant coaches that are still here are kind of in a tough spot. Kevin Steele, for example, they don't know if they're going to be around when the next head coach comes through. So how do they go about recruiting people for National Signing Day at the beginning of February? The good thing about this is when you've got veterans like Kevin Steele, like Jim Chaney, guys like that who've, who've been around the block, especially in the SEC, that they're pros. They, they've been through this before. Kevin Steele was just an interim coach at Auburn where he signed a pretty good number of players last month when they didn't know who their head coach was going to be and they still managed to hold on to some guys. So he actually has some pretty recent experience that should pay off here for Tennessee. Okay, Wes, I'm going to turn to you now. Big picture question. This has been happening for so long now. Constant change, no consistency on Rocky Top. Once an AD is hired and Tennessee is looking for a new head coach, what do they do? How do they make this one work? Sometimes luck is involved. It just is. In general, though, I think if you're Tennessee, you've got to go with someone who has experience because the shiny new toy is fun and could be great. Um, but I think Tennessee keeps getting in this position because Tennessee keeps having people who do not know exactly how you have to conduct yourself in this job, the way you have to treat people on a daily basis uh, to make sure that they're not doing things like running and snitching behind your back. You know, I mean, you can't, this is, it's not a healthy environment. Tennessee has, got to find someone who understands those things and who can at least survive and optimally thrive in an environment like that. And if you get someone who's never done it before, you're just getting into this again. And, you know, you and I or whoever has our jobs three years from now is sitting here exactly like this or in person talking about the exact same thing. It's like a cycle and it keeps repeating itself over and over and over again because Tennessee keeps not learning from its mistakes. And Tennessee has got to learn from this or in three years, I'll be sitting here with even more gray in this beard and we'll be talking about the same thing again, going, we're going crazy here. Why is the same thing happening again? Ryan, Wes, thank you so much. I'll send it back to you.